How to create a movable line or line of best fit on the TI Inspire calculator. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the TI Inspire to draw a line of best fit through a graphed set of data. And in the TI Inspire language, it is called a movable line. In our math models classes this year, we did an experiment to determine how bridge carrying capacity is related to the length of a bridge span. Not surprisingly, the shorter the bridge span, the more weight the bridge is able to bear. When we turn on our calculator, this is what we might see, a home screen. From here, we'll use our nav pad to navigate up to the new document uh, submenu. Here you can see the new document option highlighted. Press enter. You may see this dialog box. Most of the time I turn on my calculator, it's to work on something new. So I arrow once to the right, so no is highlighted. Press enter. We're going to go down to option four, add lists and spreadsheets. Press enter. We now see the spreadsheet waiting to be populated. We enter the data from the table. From here, we'll go to create the scatter plot by going to home in the upper right. Arrow four times to the right to get to the bar graph icon. Press enter. Take your arrow down to the click to the add variable mini window at the bottom. When we click enter, this is what we see. Press enter again to choose length along the horizontal axis. And here we see the points spread out along the bottom of the graph area. Press tab at the upper left to go to choose the variable on the vertical axis. Arrow down so pennies is highlighted. Press enter. We see our points laid out with a negative correlation. The longer the bridge span, the fewer pennies or less weight it takes for it to collapse. We're going to add a movable line. We start by pressing the menu key at the upper right of the keypad. We see the five options, plot type, plot properties, actions, analyze, and window slash zoom. We're going to scroll down to four, analyze. Press enter. We see the movable line option highlighted. Press enter again. We see a line with the equation M2 equals 8.2 X minus 46. To change the movable line to be a line of best fit, we're going to need to rotate the line and move it up and down until it has a, is a good trend line for our points. The first thing we do is notice where our arrow is that we need to move to the line to change it. And the arrow is over here at the left of view screen. We use the nav pad to move the arrow to the right towards the line. And here is the arrow pretty close to the line. We move it until it's on top of the line. And what do we see here? It changes to a crosshair symbol, north, east, south, west. We press down for a second or so of, at the center of the nav pad until we see the little hand holding the line. Now we move the line upward with the up arrow of the nav pad. We release the hand by pressing the center of the nav pad again, and we see that the hand isn't there anymore. It's an arrow. So we move the arrow back over the line here at the top of the viewable line, and we see this time there are circular arrows telling us that the line is ready to be rotated. It took just one click to the right of the nav pad to do this. We grasp the line by holding down the center of the nav pad again for about a second. Now we arrow down to rotate the right end of the line downward. We let go of the hand by pressing the center of the nav pad again. Note how the circular arrow rotate symbol appears again. Now we need to go to the left end of the line to rotate it upward to be at the correct angles. So we arrow that direction with nav pad until we have the circular arrow symbol on the left end of the line. We grasp the line here at the left by holding down the center of the nav pad for about a second. Now we rotate the line upward by using the up arrow of the nav pad. We release by pressing the center of the nav pad again and we see the circular arrow symbol. We now navigate to the center section of the line where we see the crosshairs to move the line up and down. To grasp the line we hold down at the center for about a second. Now we move the line upward some until we see it fit the points the way we want to see it. Then we press the center of the nav pad to let go of the line. 
we see that the equation for the line of best fit is m2 equals negative 7x plus 85. For this lesson, I want to try one more thing. We'll check the equation we drew for the line of best fit and compare it to a linear regression analysis. Let's go down to Analyze again from the menu. Press Enter. This time, we'll go down to Option 6, Regression. Press Enter. We see all the types of regressions available to us. We like the first one, the linear regression in MX plus B form. Press Enter. We have Y equals about negative 8.85X plus about 83. And this equation compares pretty closely with the M equals negative 7X plus 85 we obtained from our drawn line of best fit. This has been how to create scatter plots or lines of best fit on the TI-Inspire calculator with a little linear regression thrown in at the end for good measure. Thanks for viewing.